Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast as we go into the rest of the evening tonight. No major problems being seen for right now. Matter of fact, the beginning of the work week, if you have worked this week, a lot of people taking off and heading out pretty soon for the Thanksgiving holiday rush before that gets too serious out there. And, of course, a lot of schools will be out for this entire week coming up. But some classes still going to be in session for tomorrow. So so again, should not be too much of a problem as we get into the early portions of this next week. Again, changes to the forecast as we go throughout the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog designed to let you, our viewers, ask questions, get updates, and find out more about what's going on where it comes to the forecast here in the Mid-South. Again, that's North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis, Tennessee, see right there in the middle. If you can't stick around for the whole netcast, that's fine. Blue bar down below showing the weather forecast scrolling along or go to WREG.com for the 7 to 10 day forecast and we'll have all those updates as well on social media at various locations as well. Coming up in just a bit, we'll take a look at more of your weather pictures and find out more details about what's going on when with travel plans are going on for this part of the country. We also have some advisories that you need to know about if you are traveling. Is not one, not two, but three storm systems line up off the west coast coast and start heading our direction. So again, we could be seeing some changes because of that. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your weather reports if you've got them into the comments section. Let's see what's going on in your neck of the woods for tonight and see what's happening again with the forecast out there for again this evening for right now. Clear and cool in Bartlett. Paulette Anders, thank you very much for that weather report. Likewise, Ronnie Williams, 43 in Collierville for tonight. Appreciate the weather reports uh, from out there. Michael Wilson, Memphis native, mostly cloudy, 49 degrees uh, in East Chicago. Well, welcome to the show from a little bit farther up north and uh, send a deep dish down this direction. It's been a while since I've uh, had a good one with those deep dish pies from up that way. Coming up again, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and jump right into it and give you an idea as to what we're looking for when it comes to the forecast for overnight. What we're seeing is clear skies, and most importantly, these southwesterly winds, it's going to help to kind of keep the temperatures up by just a bit. So it will not be quite as frosty tomorrow. It will be brisk, though, with temperatures going back into and around the mid to lower 40s across much of the Mid-South area for tonight. Could be a few mid to upper 30s out there, but dry is going to be important again. So not too much in the way of frost as we get uh, into tomorrow morning or so. Mark Berry, bring us some snow uh, well, we're going to try to do that, but not really looking too great for the chances of snow anytime soon. But thanks for the vote of confidence on that one for right now. Welcome to everybody else who's tuning in for tonight. Again, if you've got weather reports, drop them into the comments section. Joan Holcomb Wright from Central Florida, 53 degrees. Sounds a little chilly down that direction. Robert Brown in Millington, cool and 47 degrees here. Uh, James Paul Reeves, any chance of severe weather Tuesday? We'll take a look at that in the forecast in just a little bit, so stay tuned for that. 55 degrees, again, very close to normal for this time of the year for the Almanac today. 32, we made it to freezing at Memphis International Airport this morning. Normal is 40, so a little bit lower there. Plenty of rainfall for the year, 67 inches. 20 inches above normal, nearly two feet above where we should be for this time of the year. So a very good recharge of moisture on that and a record high that hasn't been broken since 1973 of 79 degrees. Heading into tomorrow, air quality may be a little bit reduced out there as we see again the potential for more pollutants building up so for right now we're looking at a yellow or moderate category for air quality tomorrow again not huge but could be noticeable for anybody uh, who has anything in the way of asthma emphysema lung ailments things like that uh, for right now esther plank bledsoe will tuesday night be a washout wondering about the Collierville tree lighting. Uh, stay tuned. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit for right now. Connie Ramsey Ray, beautiful chilly evening, 46 degrees. Thank you about that one. Rebecca Fuller, Forest City. We'll take a look at that uh, forecast coming up in just a little bit as well. Mighty Lights and Big River Crossing doing their thing. Top of the hour animated displays. Downtown Memphis, things pretty quiet and dry. Good visibility 
lights of West Memphis, Arkansas on the horizon, looking on our tower cam out there. And again, a good evening for getting out for a stroll. Kind of brisk, but not exactly all that cold out there. So looking pretty nice again for right now and should be just as clear as we get into tomorrow morning. So not seeing too much of an issue with inclement weather, at least immediately anyway. That could change into the next couple of days. Got numerous advisories going up into the Intermountain West, the High Plains, and into parts of the Rockies, including some gale warnings off the West Coast as several storm systems line up and get going. Now, again, none of this is affecting the Mid-South directly, but if you're traveling anywhere between, say, Omaha and, let's say, Salt Lake City, down to around Provo, uh, Las Vegas in that area, and south of Minneapolis, St. Paul, into and around the area of the Great Plains and the High Plains area. Winter storm warnings and watches and winter weather advisories going up for numerous systems that are going to be crossing the country. So being the station that is on your side, we want to make certain everybody's ready to go and knows that there could be some travel slowdowns and maybe some headaches ahead if you're heading in this general area. Now, otherwise, again, what we've got is a couple of storm systems. The main energy of these things mainly going to be shooting north of the Mid-South, so we're not going to catch the full force of these things but we are going to see some effects off them into the next couple of days, none of which is showing up again for the evening into and around tonight as we see clean sweeps across the area for, again, Storm Tracker 3S radar. Little, if anything, to show you in the way of rain uh, for tonight or tomorrow. That could change on Tuesday. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. 42 in Nesbitt, Norma Morris-Gordon. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And Diana Crawford Parker, Holcomb, Mississippi, 41 degrees. Thanks for that weather report. Got them. Drop them into the comments section. We'll read those off for you as we go throughout the rest of the evening. Mid to upper 40s, some of the warmest numbers on WeatherNet 3. Winds, again, out of the south are going to have a big impact on the temperatures tonight into overnight. And especially for tomorrow, again, if you haven't seen the 7 to 10 day forecast, we are talking about some much warmer numbers into the next couple of days before sliding down and then heading back upwards again. So some up and down temperatures heading our way into the next few days. Running the numbers into overnight. We're going to be on a little late tonight thanks to the NFL. So the late edition of News Channel 3 will show again some temperatures in the lower to mid 40s. And those subtly winds, those moving lines on screen, that's the winds at the surface coming in from roughly out of the south. So we will see again the winds doing a good job of not letting the temperatures drop too much. Now, we could see some mid-30s in southwest Tennessee and northeast Mississippi. So Corinth, Bolivar, Somerville, back toward around Holly Springs, Potts Camp. You might see some of the lowest temperatures tonight. Rest of the Mid-South, upper 30s to lower 40s from eastern Arkansas and down into northern parts of Mississippi, as, as well as far western Tennessee at this time. We'll be looking for the uh, Again, the chilliest numbers into overnight. Dennis Vest, good suggestion. Hot chocolate. Uh, that sounds pretty good for nights like these coming up. Tomorrow, again, warming up. We'll have sunshine with a few clouds out there dotting the landscape and temperatures going back into the lower 60s by lunchtime and just afterwards. Maximum temperatures tomorrow, mid, maybe a few upper 60s. So for the kids that do have school tomorrow, heading home after school and dismissal, you, again, are going to have a great walk or bike ride or bus ride home because we'll see some, again, of that sunshine sticking around out there. Now, through tomorrow evening, again, noticing back to the west, numbers back in the mid-50s, but we are starting to see those areas of showers redevelop back to central and western Arkansas. So that, again, is going to be heading our direction. We'll take a look at the extended forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Again, temperatures into Monday, not doing too bad overall, but we should be seeing temperatures, again, a little bit warmer as we get into and around the area of Tuesday, with temperatures going back into about the mid-60s or so, with those chances of showers beginning early during the day and then changing over to, to a rain thunderstorm mix. Now, as of right now, the latest forecast from the Storm Prediction Center does not have anything in the way of severe weather for Tuesday, so that's good news. But again, thunderstorms outside could be a bit of an issue, and that goes into the early evening hours. Parades, tree lightings, things like that, that could be a bit of a problem. We'll take a look at the detailed forecast here in just a second. By Wednesday, on the back side of this first system that comes on through, Rotating around the backside of that, we'll look for some cooler weather. So we'll set the high temperatures on Wednesday 
fairly early during the day, and numbers will slide throughout the rest of the day, dropping into cooler territory by Wednesday evening. But for most of the day on Wednesday, outside of a light scattered shower, probably not going to be seeing too much of a major problem for travel here in this area of the country, so not doing too bad for right now. For the big day itself, starting off partly to mostly cloudy skies, decently cool, high temperatures on the big turkey day will be back in the upper 40s to lower 50s, and then the chances of rainfall return as we go into Thursday night, and for early Friday morning for all the shoppers heading out for the uh, retail madness going on out there, Going to need some extra patience, going to need some extra eyes watching again in those wet parking lots with people who are going to have a lot of stuff under their arm or in a cart and holding an umbrella as well. So looking at some possibly sloppy conditions for a lot going on this Friday morning, but still no severe weather and no winter weather either. But either way, chances of rain coming on through. This is the second storm system making its way through the area and heading again mainly north of us. So we'll pick up the rainfall chances from Saturday into Sunday as well. Hopefully again most of this on Sunday leaves the area giving us hopefully some drier weather into the latter half of the, of the day. We are still about a week out from this so again this could change and hopefully the rain will leave quicker as that drier air comes through, giving travelers less of a problem out there. But again, that's something we're going to have to watch. So could see this going on through all the way into this next weekend, right through the full holiday weekend. So indoor activities, probably going to be better than outdoor activities getting into and around uh, this part of the weekend at this point in time. Welcome to everybody joining us. Uh, glad to see everybody here dropping on through for right now. And again, uh, for again questions about the forecast, we'll see if we can answer those coming up here in just a little bit. Now, after this storm system, the second one rolls on through the area. Again, no winter weather, but the next system, the more powerful one, is going to drag down a bunch of cold air from northern and central Canada. So we're going to feel the after effects of this at the end of next weekend and into the beginning part of December. Back to work and school, temperatures will be back into the lower 40s for high temperatures, so some of the cooler numbers that we have seen out there for a while, and barely warming up, well below normal, which is about the upper 50s for this time of the year, staying in the 40s for most of the first week of December, at least will be clearer anyway, getting some sunshine that'll help your utility bill out a little bit, open up the blinds and the drapes and get some of that free solar heating going on to improve the, your utility bill, uh, decrease the amount that you're going to have to pay out there by getting some free natural heating from the sun. That'll help out by just a bit. As always, this will change, so keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. All right, detailed look at what's going on hour by hour for about the next several days. This is what we're looking at again beginning early Tuesday morning. Light scattered showers making their way into the picture, no indication of anything severe and not seeing anything in the way of any winter weather coming on through, but there could be some thunderstorms out there. The moving lines, those red lines in there, could be some very breezy winds on Tuesday evening. And unfortunately, the entire Mid-South pretty well covered over by that chance of rainfall. So anything holiday-wise, parades, or otherwise going on on Tuesday, this, again, could be a soggy one out there and could be windy as well. So could be looking at some postponements out there to some of the holiday events coming up this week. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that on News Channel 3 as we get them. So, again, keep an eye on the forecast to have more days, again, to plan in advance. On Wednesday morning, lingering showers, breezy southwesterly winds as that first system tracks its way on out of the picture. Wednesday evening, decently dry less in the way of winds and no rain or snow or thunderstorms being seen for Wednesday evening. Thursday morning, getting the turkey in the oven and getting the accoutrements ready to go. Rain chances back to the west, but not much for the mid-south early on. And then through about mid-afternoon, about the time it's about time to put the turkey on the table. Numbers again showing the chances of showers moving in and increasing as we go into Thursday afternoon and evening. That's where we see the best potential of rainfall out there. And then that'll continue on right into shopping time on Friday morning. So chances of rainfall, yes. 
fairly limited according to these forecast model number runs, but they'll be sticking around for a while. And then by Saturday, that's where we see again the potential for that next storm system coming on through that's going to give us the best chance of rain and showers out there and some very breezy winds before clearing things out. It looks like right now, if this holds, we'll get rid of the rainfall and everything else getting into and around the area of Sunday afternoon. Could be some snow showers passing north of us and dry conditions as we get into Monday next, the first day back to work or school past the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Could be a brisk one out there as those winds turn back out of the north. So we'll be seeing some chilly but dry conditions out there. We'll update this throughout the rest of the next few days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Less than a week to go until the end of hurricane season 2019, and we have the S storm out in the Atlantic. Sebastian, still a tropical storm, has not made hurricane strength yet, and it is well away from the United States and moving away from the area out across the northern Atlantic. It looks like right now it could be maybe even a subtropical storm by the time it makes its way close to the British Isles, although it's going to lose some power. The winds in this are still going to be around 60 miles per hour just to the southwest of Ireland, so this could be a bit of a travel headache for anybody popping over the pond in the next few days. So if you're traveling that way to Europe or back into around Britain or Ireland, you could be seeing some slowdowns because of that. But fortunately, things are decently quiet out there for right now. Michael Tolleson, thank you very much for a double rainbow shot from over Tennessee 385, Bill Morris Parkway, Thursday morning of last week. Beautiful view from around, it looks like Kirby and 385, so thank you very much for that double rainbow shot. Nice view of some fog earlier this last week from Angie Calvin Milner around northern Tipton County, looking out over the cotton fields out there and seeing some of that uh, steam fog rising off, looks like sort of a pond area right there. Gloria L. Johnson, fall foliage, didn't get a location on this, but wherever you happen to be, thank you very much for that one. And from this morning, Cheryl Lockhart, Nice view of the crescent moon showing up. Moonrise just before sunrise this morning. A few clouds out there, but mainly clear skies. And this one from South Haven, Mississippi. Thank you, Cheryl Lockhart, for that one. Got weather pictures? We'd love to see them. Send them in to me, again, through my social media channels. Or, again, you can contact me, again, at drop them off snail mail. Well, not snail mail, but email. You can get that at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to have your pictures out there so we can uh, share them around for right now for the time being. Uh, Timmy Smith, we all repeat CNN weather, hashtag fake weather casting. Wow, that's very original. No, we do not uh, repeat CNN weather. I do my own forecast as a professional meteorologist. Uh, if you compare our numbers, you will see that they are different. And if you have any proof to the contrary... I welcome you to post them here, and again, we'll see what uh, the proof has to say about that. But in the meantime, thanks for dropping on by. More of our weather forecast that we do ourselves, thank you very much, available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to see more about that. Again, keeping you updated around the clock and around the Mid-South area to give you an idea as to what's going on. Once again, the forecast that is not available on CNN from tomorrow morning. Numbers again back into the mid to upper 40s and plenty of sunshine across the Mid-South as we see again some dry conditions for now. But we also will see again the possibility of some rainfall coming up as we go toward Tuesday. Not seeing too much of anything else in the way of problems starting off the week. That could be a problem again as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So if you are traveling, this is the place to be with News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on what we may be seeing out there when it comes to those changes in the forecast. Speaking of which, we'll have an update on what's going on with the forecast overseas. A lot of people can't get home for the holidays because they are serving our country wearing the uniform of the United States military around the world. So we'll take a look at weather where the troops are coming up on our late edition. And that'll be starting in just about a half an hour here on News Channel 3's weather overtime. So we see again the possibility of some pretty inclement weather in parts of the world, but otherwise not doing too bad in others. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Tom, Timmy Smith, JK, watch you daily. Nice to know that was 
uh, interesting comment there to begin with. Thank you very much. Numbers again throughout the rest of the next few days will be changing. So again, we will keep you updated on weather potential for the Mid-South and beyond. So stick around for more of that online and on air. We'll be on a little bit late tonight thanks to the NFL running over tonight. So join us for the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. That'll be starting at about 10.13 this evening. And of course, Todd Demers has more on your complete forecast that'll be bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. And, of course, again, WRAG.com slash weather for more information on your ever-changing forecast here in the Mid-South. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thanks to everybody for the weather reports across the area. One more from William Brantley. Low this morning in Bemis, Tennessee. Hope I'm saying that right. 31 and currently 39 degrees. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Paula Wallace-Kelly, Friday night state playoffs. Going to be wet in West Tennessee. Looks like it's probably going to be some scattered showers out there and could be some windy conditions as well, but no uh, thunderstorms at this point in time. Likewise, Leon, Map Leon Mapstone, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, again, could be some pretty good shower chances out there for the Memphis game on Friday. So anything involving outdoor activities, definitely want to keep an eye on that forecast change out there. More coming up tonight on the late edition at 10, and Todd Demers has your forecast on Daybreak. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.